In this video, I will be showing you how to program your iGrow Series 100. Note, before you begin, please read all the terms and conditions in the manual. To get started, be sure your power supply is installed, your outputs are installed to your specs, control relays and contactors, dry contacts, indoor air temp probes are all intact and installed onto your iGrow. Before the iGrow is programmed, it is recommended that the following steps are followed. Hardware is properly installed and tested with manual switches. All internal switches have been restored back to the off state. All the templates from the control strategy chapter that are relevant to your application are understood and are completely filled out. The iGrow Series 100 has a unique touch sensitive navigation design that utilizes a touch wheel and four navigational touch sensitive buttons. Home, Cancel, OK, Back, Touch Wheel. Next, we will be going to the status screen, Normal. This is the current temperature stage. It can go from Cool 6 to Normal to Heat 2. Day Set Point. The set point displayed depends whether the system is in a heating, cooling, or normal operating mode. For the normal stage, both the lower and upper set points are shown respectively. 73.2 degrees Fahrenheit displayed in the current indoor temperature reading from the indoor temperature probe. Humidity. This is the current relative humidity reading in the zone. Note that this reading is only valid if the optional digital temperature humidity probe is installed. For each of the outputs, the equipment's name is displayed as well as the current controlled state that it is in. Auto, off, on. Auto, equipment is being automatically controlled by the iGrow controller. Off, equipment is being manually forced to off through software. On, equipment is being manually forced to on through software. The software output override can be activated by touching the respective button above or below the channel. Auto, force to position, force open, force close, force off. The controller also has manual mechanical override switches inside the unit. These switches need it to be in the auto position. If they are used to force the output off or on, they will override all software settings. Programming set point. Set point programming allows the user to program three different set points for temperature and humidity. Set points menu can be entered by highlighting the set point option on the main menu using the wheel or button number one or pressing OK. To get started with the set points, just hit the OK button and where it's highlighted set points, we're going to press OK again. Set point programming is divided between temperature and humidity. Humidity set points will only be applicable if the optional temperature humidity sensors are installed. So in this point, we're going to choose the temp set point. Hit OK. There are three set points provided for the user. Day, night, and DIF. Day is active by default. Night and DIF can be turned on if desired. To set the day point, highlight the set day option on the set point. Menu using either the wheel or press button 1, then press OK. This brings you to the basic set point menu. Pressing the button number 6 repeatedly allows the user to modify the cool set point, heat set point, and stage separation. The temperature is spread between each stages. The highlight moves to the corresponding set point and separation is shown. The heat set point is low temperature target below which the heat stages are engaged and the cool set point is at is the high temperature target above which the cool stage the cooling stages are invoked. The stage separation is the temperature spacing between the stages. For example, when the temperature in the zone goes above the cool set point, the system will go into cool 1. If the temperature continues to rise and goes above the cool set point, the stage separation temperature, then the system will go into cool 2 and so forth. 
The menu wheel can be used in to increase or decrease each highlighted values. Pressing set time and then set day start time will allow the start time of the day time set point to be set. Note that there is only one start time indicated since the night and the DIF set point has not been programmed yet. This will help you set hour, minute, minimum, AM, PM. Hit OK. Hit the back button to save. OK. And then it'll take us back. Hit back again. This brings you to the basic set point menu system. Pressing the button number 6 repeatedly allows you allows the user to modify the cool set point, each set point and stage separation. The temperature spread between each stages. The highlight moves the corresponding set point and separation as shown. The heat set point is the low temperature stages are engaged and the cool set point is in the high temperature target above which the cooling stages are invoked. The stage separation is the temperature spacing between the stages. For example, when the temperature in the zone goes above the cool set point, the system will go into cool 1. If the temperature continues to rise and goes above the cool set point plus, the stage separation temperature, the system will go into cool 2 and so forth. The menu wheel button can be used to increase and decrease each highlighted value. So we are changing the temperature set point. Pressing set time and then the set day start time will allow the start time for the day time set point to be set. Note that there is only one start time indicated since the night and the DIF set point has not been programmed yet. And then go back to the main menu. Button number 8 toggles between basic and advanced set point minus. It gives you the option for the ramp in minutes. Enables a gradual temperature transition from one set point to the next. Band, dead band creates a stereous in switch temperature which prevents the adjacent stages to oscillate back, back and forth from stall, small temperature and fluctuations. Press the back button to navigate back to the temp set point screen and set the night set point. Option 2. OK. By default, the night and DIF set points are set to off. Press on off on the lower left side of this screen to turn this perimeter on. Pressing set time will allow the user to set the start time for the night set point. Note that the day and night times are being displayed now. Set time. In the same manner, the DIF set point can be selected and modified. Other than the ability to switch the night DIF set points on the on and off, they behave similar to the day set point. Note that there are now three start times being displayed, which can be modified as needed. Set day start time, set night start time. This is an optional feature requiring a humidity sensor. This is an optional feature requiring for humidity sensor. The same process can be used to modify the humidity set points. Note that the start and end times are the same for temperature set points and humidity set points. There are two parameters for each humidity set points. Humidity. If the RH reading is below the, this parameter, the condition is considered too dry and the system will go into the humidification stage. Dehumify. If the RH reading is above the parameter, the condition is considered too damp and the system will go into the humidification stage. Set humidify set point, set time.
and this will conduct the programming onto doing the set points for your controller.